past decade, a gardener van has been slowly raising animals on his farm. That is until the past year or so when the number of pets absolutely exploded to over 100 now. The animals are well cared for, but as you can imagine, trying to feed all those mouths while battling cancer is a daily battle. Now it's time to find those animals permanent homes. This is a story you're only going to see right here on News 4. Life on the farm is filled with long days. You want a drink? Come on. Get a drink. And when livestock's involved, <laughs> endless repetition. Don't spit. Cut it out. Be nice. But 82-year-old Bob Davison has so many animals. I'm between 50 and 60 llamas. I do have eight goats. Two dogs. I have two cats. Uh, Actually, I have three dogs. Do you need a dog? It's hard for him to keep track of them all. After a while, a lot of these look like each other. It wasn't always like this. When Bob moved to this five-acre farm ten years ago, there were only five llamas. Three were born in the same day here, and two more that same week. Things kind of progressed. I have too many. Along the way, this farmer has learned a very valuable lesson. I probably put the males in one place and the females in another. <laughs> Getting rid of all these llamas, goats, fish, birds, and rabbits wouldn't be so hard. I don't have anybody close that I can relate to. If this were a traditional farm. I grew up in a family of five kids. I'm the last one. I have no family. And other than these. <laughs> but Bob knows the clock is ticking. I don't feel bad, obviously. But at the same time, uh, I have lost probably about... 50 pounds over the last year. An ongoing battle with cancer is taking a toll. I'm getting weaker, sure. I was told not to lift more than 20 pounds. Well, a bale of hay is roughly 100 pounds. Slowly, progress is being made. Last week, a family near Reno took one pond full of koi fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Are there any fish in there? Leaving one more to empty. As for the other pets. Tessie is very special. Nearly all are available for adoption at relatively little cost, but more importantly, with a promise. Only that they're going to be cared for. Good. Good girl. Come on. We certainly wish Bob the best. If you'd like to adopt one or several of the animals, send me an email with your name and email, telephone number, as well as your address. The email is ejohnson at mynews4.com. We'll screen the information provided and get you in contact with Mr. Davison.